first. Uh, this hand seems okay. It's a little slow, but we have some things, so. Scry three Scrylands is actually pretty solid. Should let us dig into more relevant cards. Uh, we'll leave that on top, actually. That guy's pretty solid. I'm actually pretty sure I'm playing against Red White Devotion. Uh, so, Soldier of the Pantheon really shines here. I'll play Temple again. Um, I'm going to leave that on top. It actually seems really good against his deck because all of his permanents are removable. And it's the kind of deck that like relies on having permanents in play. I will take it. And then we're going to play this. And I don't care about Cartel Aristocrat in this matchup, so... As next turn we can actually play Whip. And, uh... It's actually pretty good with Soldier, because he, his deck really can't block Soldier outside of Ashdells or Fanatic of Moguses. And we might just actually play Detention Sphere now. So that way we don't take two damage from the Shockland, and we can get rid of both of these guys. Oh, and we can play a temple now? Jeez. Good times all around. Do I want to use that? Sure. Uh, watery Grave, you can go away. Ain't nobody got time for Watery Graves. I can, I can definitely see uh, getting rid of a Perforos here with that. And then maybe playing attention and uh, Imposing Sovereign. Yeah, let's do that. Yes. Because Perforos is kind of a jerk. He does have four cards in hand, though, which is a lot. Stormbreath Dragon? Yep, Detention Sears aren't really good against that guy anyway, and I have, uh... A, I have a Goblet Shrine. Just keep playing lands because, uh... We want them. And they come into play tap, so you never want to have to need a land and not have it in play because you wasted a turn. But yeah, Stormbreath Dragon's actually not that big of a deal against us because uh, basically can't attack. Like, we're just going to gain four and deal four. And all subsequent Stormbreath Dragons come into play tapped. Fanatic? Boris Reckoner. Sure. I'll just gain a lot. Doomblade. Cobsedat, fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, we're just gonna pass here. Cause he actually has no way to deal with Obsidat, so he's pretty much dead in four turns. If he plays a Fnatic, which is pretty good for him, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But then all my guys have lifelink, so he can't really attack, he just has to deal with, he just has to win by, like, Fnatic shenanigans.
wondering what's going on here. So, 7 mana. 8, 9 mana. So he has 9 total. Hammer of Perforos. So, another Nick. Oh, God. 11 mana. So, I think he activates Stormbirth Dragon and maybe plays Fnatic. That'd be pretty ridiculous. Oh, he plays another Stormbirth Dragon. Now plays Fnatic. Okay, just Monstrous is one. That seems fine. I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. He can't actually attack with... I'll just block this Frostburn weird with my Soldier of the Pantheon. That seems good. And if I get any removal spell, I can just kill his Boros Reckoner. And just win on the spot, right? He goes to 6. No, oh, Desecration Demon is no joke. I'm actually going to play the land now because... Uh, there's no reason not to. So, Soldier actually can go in, puts me to 18. Uh, Obsidat, he just blocks with Reckoner, uh, kills Obsidat, so we're not going to do that. So he goes to 4. Then we're going to blink this guy out. So, even if he, if he activates both dragons, I take... Uh, 14. All my guys have lifelink, though. He can make a soldier stack it, too. I take 14, he's getting 17. And then Imposing Sovereign's gonna give me 2, no matter who it blocks, so I should be fine. Even with Reckoner, Reckoner, Stormbirth Dragon, I take 17 damage. Like, there's no way he can not tap the demon. The only thing he could have to kill me is Fanatic of Mogus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But you would just windmill slam that thing, right? You don't even... Yeah, that's fine. That's not going to do it. That's actually just going to gain me a life and come in and play tapped. Probably would have played that post-combat if I was him, just so it would, uh... In case I block with the Sovereign, which I'm probably going to have to do. But then he might just want to sack it to, um... Yeah, actually that might make all the difference, because he might just make a guy. And sack it. Sack the Frostburn to Desecration Demon. Which might actually kill me. So, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. Actually, no, I think I'll go to 1, exactly. Oh, because the, the token comes into play tap, too. So, yeah, pretty sure that's game. Well, maybe not game, but... It's pretty close. He's going to have to sack... Like, probably a golem next turn. He might just not attack this turn. Depends on what I draw as well. Like, I can draw, like, something ridiculous. He can't attack, right? Like, he can attack with dragons, but then, like, I guess he can attack with one. So, can I just block that guy? I think I just take seven here. Hmm. He's gonna tap a golem. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Mm, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, I think we're just gonna take seven here. Alright, one time. Okay, well, that's not really what we're looking for, but I guess that's a thing. Yeah, Skynet will put on top, that's actually fine. He's gonna have to sacrifice something to, to Desecration Demon. So he blocks this guy with Stormwatch Dragon, he blocks this guy with anyone. Probably Frostburn, he blocks this guy with Boros Reckoner. Next turn I might just be dead.
Yeah, I think I'm just dead. He's just 14 in the air. Hmm. Unfortunate. I guess I should have blocked? I don't know. Um... Well, I guess he's a 2, so I can actually attack him with something. Um, probably Soldier. Which has to be blocked by Stormbreath Dragon. Prevents the damage, um, so that I don't gain the lifelink. Uh, Obsidat is also an option. But he probably just blocks the Reckoner and deals me 5. So I gain fine loot, like gain five, lose five, break even. This guy just gets blocked by Stormbreath. All the all the white creatures get blocked by Stormbreath Dragon, so they can't really. Um, let's actually get in there with with Obsidat, and then we can whip him if uh, if that's. Oh, he, again, he just blocks with Stormbreath Dragon. Yeah, that's. Pro White's pretty good apparently. So that's not an option. Yeah, actually, because of the pro-white, I don't think blocking, whether I blocked or not, was even really relevant. I guess it could have kept me alive for another turn. He would have made another guy. Wouldn't have had to worry about sacking his Frostburn Weird. So he would have had a 3-3 three, three, and a 1-4. I mean, I'd probably unearth this guy. He'd still have to sack it and tap it. So, okay, let's say he doesn't have Frostburn Weird. Next turn he'd have... Yep, that seems obvious. Alright, so... Oh, actually, did I just did I just mess up real bad? If I was that dies, I could whip him back and kill him. Is that what I just threw away? Wow, why didn't I think of that? I guess because it's early. I don't know. That's really awkward. Let's pretend that didn't happen. You're not going to. You're going to chastise me in the comments, and rightfully so. That's a fair thing to do. Um. Ultimate price is pretty bad here. Take out a Daring Skyjack. Yeah, but to be fair, he blocked in incorrectly too. If he blocks with like Boris Reckoner, it doesn't kill my uh, my Obsidat. So he literally had to kill my Obsidat with Stormbreath Dragon, and then I could have whipped him back. Um, so. Technically, I should have won that game. I just misplayed. Like, I just, like, I wasn't looking at that plan. So. Uh, we'll take out one more Daring Sky. I don't think Daring Sky is that great in this matchup because we're not attacking with a bunch of guys. Far and away seems fine, though. Or Glare of Heresy, actually. Let's go Glare of Heresy. And I will play first. Let's try this again. Uh, no, this hand looks real good. We have all the colors for all the cards. We also have a bunch of removal, and a bunch of hard to deal with guys. <coughs> Man, I can't believe I could have just won that game. That's unfortunate. But, I consider that a victory because it's a kind of a testament to how the deck would have, like, the deck would have won, so. But if my opponent didn't block improperly, I wouldn't have won. So it's kind of a wash. Oh man, Double Soldier of the Pantheon is nuts against this deck. actually a really good draw against them. Get sort of things like Boris Reckoner and Stormbreath Dragon. Not Anger of the Gods, though. That is a card. Well, I guess we just play a demon now. And even if he has, like, Chain to the Rocks, I have a Glare of Heresy, so... Perforous? 
Interesting. So you're just going to take six here? I'm not sure I even care about Perforos. I'm pretty sure I don't, actually. Six cards in hand. Uh, so I can just kill this Boros Reckoner, basically, and um, we move on to game three. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do that. Let's see if that works out the way I want it to. Okay, <laughs> that was easy enough. One Desecration Demon gets the job done, I guess. Actually, I kind of like Pay No Heed just because he has um, Anger of the Gods. So let's try that out. Uh, maybe we'll take out one Supreme Verdict for one Pay No Heed. Try it like that. I will... No, this is, this is fine. Doomblade's gonna help me out a little bit. And, uh... Desecration Demon has proven to be a decent... Yeah, that's pretty good, too. A decent... Oh, yep. <laughs> okay. Every, every time I get Soldier of the Pantheon against this deck, I just... instantly keep it. Because when he has... not Ash Zealot creatures like uh, Burning Germissary or Frostburn Weird, they're just... really solid. Six games in a row. <laughs> or five? Jeez, that guy has a beating. Yeah, he's really good against this guy. Uh, I will take two. Boros Reckoner? Yeah, that guy's a that guy's a jerk. Oh boy, now he's going to get sad. And we're going to planes here. Yeah, Soldier Pantheon is insane against his deck. Blocks literally everything. Literally everything. Even when he has an Ash Zello on the board, I say it blocks literally everything. It still blocks literally everything, technically, so... Yep, you got it. And now we get rid of this pig. And the only answer he's going to have for Desecration Demon is a Chain of the Rocks, so we're hoping that he plays it. And that way we can, um get them both with detention spheres. With a detention sphere, rather. That would be ideal. Yes. Beautiful. It's all part of the plan. Oh, or we could just get that guy. I don't think that guy's the play, though. I think we just get the Chain of the Rocks. Yeah, Doomblade's actually pretty solid here. Uh, one, two, three, Detention Sphere. Get rid of Chain to the Rocks. Yes, of course I'll use the ability that I just specifically cast the card to use. Why wouldn't I? And then we're just going to go to seven and uh, take two from a land here. Because even if he has Fnatic, uh, I can just kill an Ash Zealot. Yep. To take two less. So it's basically it's basically breaking even. It's at 14 though. I might just lose this game from uh, like if he has another Fnatic, I'm just dead. 
Oh, he has no cards in hand, though, so... I guess we're dealing with top deck mode. Now, he could go to combat, sack his fanatic to, uh... Yep, yep, to make me block with soldier. Which, that's fine, I'll just jump block. I'm not gonna go to... I'm not gonna go to two there. Let's see what temple does. That's fine. Uh, I guess we get him with this guy. If he draws a creature, he can sack it, put me to two. Let's actually get in there with... Do we just get in there with both? It has to be a haste guy to be relevant. Do you think we just deal him nine? We'll just deal him nine, I'll put him on a two turn clock. Nice. That would be the end. Alright, so... Solid record against the red-white deck. And actually I can uh, exile this guy before combat to make sure that he can't sack it to my demon. Yep, alright, cool.